Welcome to Texas Tech TV. Brian Jensen, John Harris, Chris Level, the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew with you for this week's big game here in Lubbock between the Red Raiders and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Texas Tech comes in 2-0, and but the keys to this game, well, they may be a little simpler than you think. Stop the run. Stop the run. Stop the run. Okay, we're done. Uh, no, actually, there's a little bit more to it. Uh, it is part of it, however, and we're going to start out with Chris because there's a piece of stopping the run that is a key. Yeah, I, I think you'll see Coach Wallerstedt's defense. All hands are on deck. I mean, he's got lots of folks that he's going to play in this game to keep everybody fresh. They were in places to make plays last week. Just didn't make them. Didn't wrap up. Didn't tackle. Yards after contact, things like that, you have got. I mean, Alex Collins and Jonathan Williams are bigger backs than Aaron Jones from UTEP was. You, you simply, you know, if you're there to make a play, you got you to gotta get them down. Swarm. All those terms that we use and when you see the great defenses in Texas Tech's past, that all applies in this one. And speaking of past, yeah. it's, a, it's a former opponent that you're very familiar with. Well, this is an Arkansas team that wants to run the football and control the football, control the clock, all those things that is kind of the old style traditional football. I think uh, a key to stopping that and a key to making sure that the drives don't go long and into the end zone is finally getting the turnover. Finally, we talked about it last week, but it's real. Still looking for the first turnover defensively and if you can stop a couple of drives by forcing a turnover maybe you stop it way down in their end of the field get you the football in a hurry and a score and things can really start to mount up for you at that point so I think a key to stopping that run or to getting a W is to get some of those turnovers and I think if you do that you get some momentum and you're at home and you get momentum against a team that it's been a long time since they have beaten a Division One type team. So that would be a big plus. But I think as much as stopping Arkansas's running game, you've got to get your running game going to some extent and you've got to get the quarterback going. Davis Webb has just not seemed settled into his role as the starting quarterback. Throwing the ball, he's been above, behind, below, just not the kind of guy you see in practice. They want to take that practice performance to the game on Saturday and the Red Raider offense suddenly starts to click the way we know that it can and what we've seen it do in the past. So settle Davis Webb down, get the offense rolling. If you play that good defense, then the Red Raiders come away with the win. But all of those pieces against a good team from the Southeast Conference, you've got, you're, you'll have to have all of that in order to win the game. Well, it is one of these great, uh, interesting matchups with the great offense of the Red Raiders throwing the football, the running game of Arkansas, and who knows what's going to happen defensively, really, with either one trying to stop those so those are our keys to the game be sure to listen in on texas tech sports network we are the radio crew and this is texas tech tv